So let's break down a deal. Let's say that you're an individual agent at a brokerage, and let's say that you have a cap of $16,000. Okay, so when they hire you, or so said, give you the opportunity to join that brokerage, because technically we are 1099, so we are not truly hired, right? But they give you the opportunity, they take you on in that brokerage. So when they hire you, so said, they're going to give you what's called a cap. Make sure to ask what that cap is. In my case, the brokerage and I am with, Sorry, you can't even see that, right? Our cap here at our brokerage is $16,000 and an 80-20 split. So they're going to give you a cap and then they are going to give you a split, right? So what does that mean? Let's say you sell a house, right? So let's say it's a um, $300,000 house and you collected a 3% commission, which gives you $9,000, right? So with the $9,000, that's the full commission. Out of the full commission, now you're going to have to pay 20% to the broker. You get to keep 80% with, the, with my math, with the brokerage that I am with, okay? So that means out of this, you're going to take out 20%, which is $1,800. And this $1,800 will go to your broker, okay? So out of your $9,000, you're going to take that $1,800 out. That will leave you with $7,200, Depending what brokerage you are with, you're going to have different fees. At my brokerage, we have what's called a $25 broker review fee. So it's a BR, broker review fee. That means maybe it's $7,175. Then they take out what we call a $40 ENO. Um, ENO, which stands for errors and emissions. It's your legal fee. It's, it's make sure that you're legally covered and protected, right? So we're going to pay this $40 for that. That leaves me with $7,175 and $35, right? And these are the only two fees that I pay as an agent at EXP. So this is what your deal looks like. If you're not selling a $9,000 commission or are collecting a $9,000 commission, uh, and you're on an 80-20 split and you have a 16,000 cap, you take home in this math about $7,135. This 1,800 that you paid to the broker, it goes towards your cap. When this 1,800 reaches 16,000, that's when you're capped for the year. So it's about nine transactions, if I remember correctly with this math. And that's it, you're a capped agent. After that, you are at 100%. So if the broker that you're talking to, it's telling you that there is no cap, run and run fast. You know no cap means? No cap means that they will literally take a chunk out of your commission until the end of time. It doesn't matter if you, if you only do like one or two deals, you're like, well, it doesn't matter, go, go, because it takes nine deals to get to 100% anyway right? But what if you become a top producing agent and start doing 52 deals a year? Do you want to pay 20% of your commission, $1,800, 52 times over? You're talking 60 some thousand dollars you would be paying to the broker every single year. Run and run fast. Do not join a brokerage that doesn't have a cap. Also, don't join a brokerage that's going to take 50% from you guys. 50%, if you're an individual agent and you are taking you know, collecting all of your own leads, meaning that you're gonna go out there and talk to your sphere and talk to everybody that you know and anybody that would listen to buy or sell a home with you, right? You're gonna organically generate that lead. They're gonna take 50% of that. Why? What did you do to get that lead, right? So do not get on, do not get into a situation where they take a huge chunk from you. It is not worth your time, right? We all work for money. So if you want to learn more how you can partner with me, I do not take a cut. You can partner with me. All you need to do is go to gogobetki.com forward slash partner. The link is in the comments below as well. And you can figure out who we are, how we work, and how you can join us. Talk to you soon. But these are approximately your numbers. If you sell a $300,000 house, collect a 3% commission, 9,000, pay 20% to the broker, at a 16,000 cap, approximately this is what you take home at my brokerage. Now these fees, right, this $25 and the $40, it's a little different for you if you don't join EXP, I don't know what your fees are going to be. So calculate those fees out of your commission. Talk to you soon.